And the Mexican economy showed a significant recovery during 2022 after last year's fall as a consequence of the COVID-19 pandemic. Macroeconomic indicators remain stable. However, in the streets, citizens still have concerns about the future regarding the global situation. From Mexico City, our correspondent Eduardo Martinez with the following report. According to estimates by the Economic Commission for Latin America and the Caribbean, the Mexican economy will close 2022 with a 3 percent growth approximately. However, consumers believe that they should be cautious regarding the global situation. As the whole world is having lots of problems in terms of money, investment, production, oil, Mexico is having the same impact. Sincerely, everything is on the rise. Omelets, beans, bread, etc. Vegetables, everything is on the rise. The consumer price index stood at 7.8% in November, still above the central bank's target of 3%, but below other similar and even larger economies. Mexico stayed in a very positive inflationary range compared to other countries such as Colombia, even Peru. Let's not talk about Argentina because it is a very special case, Brazil or even the United States. We have a lower inflation and the major component is the energy prices control. According to official estimates, if the fuel subsidy had been eliminated, inflation in Mexico would have reached double digits, amounting to 14 percent. We have to save money, because as far as we are concerned, we will continue to maintain the anti-inflationary plan. We are constantly striving to ensure that prices do not increase and that there is no shortage. López Obrador announced that by 2023 the policy benefits for those who have the least will be maintained. In the case of senior citizens, the pension will have an upward adjustment of 25 percent, while the minimum wage will increase by 20 percent. Eduardo Martínez, Telesur, Ciudad de México.